All right, welcome to video number two where we talk about two seam fastballs and screw balls. So first off, the two seam, probably one of the most difficult pitches overhand to throw. Um, I'm gonna show you my variation of the two seam. There are some other normal ways to throw it that some guys uh, have mastered, but there are many kids and people like myself that have not mastered the overhand two seam fastball. I'll show you how to throw it, I'll show you my variation, and then we'll get into some screwballs. All right, from what I learned about the two seam fastball, the grip is holes to the left if you're a righty. If you're a lefty, it's holes to the right. You put your index finger across two or three of the holes, put your thumb on the side or the bottom, depending on how comfortable it is for you. And then you kind of leave your finger, your middle finger on the, uh, the right side of the ball. You want to throw it, open your hips a bit, throw it to the left, and that two seam action should have it curve right if you're a righty and left if you're a lefty. Again, we're going to attempt. As you can probably tell, there wasn't much break on that. There wasn't much tail, maybe about an inch or two. But maybe fiddle around with the uh, arm slots, you can figure it out. But in the meantime, we're gonna go on to my variation of the two seam. All right, for my variation, it's still an overhand, but it's mostly sidearm. You start off by throwing the holes out front, facing your target. <laughs> then you wanna have your thumb cover one of the holes and your fingers, your two index, uh, middle and index finger resting on top just before the holes. And when you throw it, you want to release it kind of sidearm and kind of have your arm lag behind. Let the ball do the work. As you can probably tell by the video, the ball breaks down more than anything. Let's move on to a pitch that you could probably use in place of the two seam and breaks a lot more, it's a screwball. But the screwball has a lot more break, but with break comes lack of control. It's a very hard pitch to control, but it's very advantageous for righties because in normal baseball, lefties don't really see that kind of break from left to right from a righty pitcher. So the screwball, you're throwing, the holes again are to the left and then the uh, solid side of the ball is to the right side. The difference with this time is that you throw it submarine or sidearm. Normal grip like that, middle finger covering two of the holes, index finger covering the solid side, thumb on the bottom. Arm angle like that, as you release, you want the holes facing left, should break right. Personally, I like to dig my middle finger into one of the holes. It's a personal preference, you can try both. kind of unusual pitches, the two seams and screw balls. I, will, I do want to say though that it, most of these pitches that we're going to show you will not work if the ball is scuffed. Take a new wiffle ball, rub it on the pavement for a good minute, get the area of the ball. It should break nice. Episode 3, we're talking about more breaking balls, but from the other way. <laughs> 